me check this out and see if I can do it when um, the camera is sitting on a stand. We'll, we'll see if this works. Um, just came back from having my uh, full body bone scan. Lots of fun. Not really. Um, I, I went to the hospital to have it done. You don't have to go to the hospital to have it done, but that was the most convenient for me. We could make an appointment there. And I really didn't know anything about full body bone scans um, before I went. Uh, you go to the nuclear medicine department, which I kind of sounds scary too. They're going to put something nuclear in you. And, and I do admit that they did have to, and my cat's deciding to walk by now. That's great timing. But see, this is real, real life. Um, uh, so back to nuclear medicine. Uh, when they, what they do is they um, take um, a hypodermic needle and inject. In my case, it was in my hand, but in a lot of cases, they can get another another vein. But I happen to have veins that are difficult to get. So mine was in my hand, and um, when she, when the the doctor put the um, the needle down, she didn't just lay it down on the um, the counter. She had to put it in a special nuclear proof. I don't know. It was kind of intimidating that she had to put it in a special thing. So, um, so you get this injection, and then you're told to go have lunch or do whatever, and you come back in two hours, and they'll do the scan. So that's to let all of the material get through your bloodstream, hopefully. And you also are, are told to, well, I was told to drink 32 ounces of liquids, which was kind of a challenge. Uh, yes, you can go to the bathroom during that period. Um, in fact, they tell you to empty your bladder before you get onto the table when you do come back. Um, if I was going to have it done again, um, I would say wear very comfortable clothes because you're going to be laying on this flat table for a half hour. And so you think that maybe jeans or something are comfortable um, maybe not, maybe elastic pants or, you know, ones with elastic waist might have been better or um, a dress that didn't have a waist, but, you know, you just don't want to be laying on something that might bother you. A tag on your shirt or any, any little thing might bother you. Um, I didn't know that I was going to be stressed by it. But if I had to do it again, I'd take a Xanax or something before I went. Um, I, I really didn't think that it would be stressful. I thought, oh, okay, you just do it. And it's not that it's enclosed. It's not really the one that I went through, at least, didn't wasn't an enclosed one, um, like the long MRI tube or CAT scan tube, whatever that is. Um, but it, it does come right over your face and it stays over your face for six minutes. And, and it's right, I mean, right over your face. So that, that was kind of intimidating. Plus, it's just, you know, doing something new. So I... I would take a Xanax before, um, and I, and I um, I don't know whether it was because my glasses are metal or whether you always I mean they ask for everything metal so I take my ring off um, or you, your belt or whatever, um, but my glasses are metal so I just take them off. I don't know whether other glasses you could keep on or not, but the next time I'd probably wear my contacts even though they generally bother me. I'd probably wear them just so that I could see during the procedure, it bothers me to not see. Um, anyway, so I, I don't feel any, I'm, I'm a little lightheaded, but it's probably just stress. And um, they'll read the bone scan tomorrow and hopefully tell me that everything's good, but wanted to report in.